Hey guys, it's Triple here today, and welcome back to Software Inc. Where everyone's taking a snooze, marketing is spelt with one T, and uh, yeah. So, um, now I didn't know that, because uh, when I was away, there, there was an update to the game that uh, added in vacation selection, which was nice. Because, uh, yeah, no, the last time I played it, when I did the three videos before, this didn't exist, so did not know about that. So, uh, thanks to those that let me know. We're gonna go, um, holiday in November, probably, I would say. Yeah, let's let's give him let's give him November off. I wish you could actually set, you know, no, you can't have a vacation. But um, I guess we have to comply with labor laws. Ugh. All right, team, so go away. Cool. All right, so uh, we got that one marketing person. They're very good at marketing now, aren't they? Isn't that their their thing? Hang on, let's have a look. Employees, a skill, marketing, hundred percent. Nice. Yeah. So you're very good at it. And that's also being marketed. I'll assign that to uh, to marketing. With one T. Alright, you guys can, uh, I guess you can develop some more software. Uh, next up. So we did, we did a game engine. We did a game. Yeah. So we, we've done like everything now. So I guess we can go back and start doing some sequels. So if we go back to visual tool. Uh, we did Pied Piper. Oh, maybe, well, Pied Piper was fairly recent. No, maybe we'll go audio tool first. Uh, we'll sequel Soundwave. And we're going to go... Sound away, ooh, wave two, uh, QA, and uh, let's see, coverage, let's just go with that. Uh, so these later ones are starting to get a little bit, the coverage is sort of starting to lean more towards one OS, which is good. Should we go all the way down there? I mean, there's definitely no, hang on, let me just make sure there's no, like, audio editing on the latest one or something. No, okay, so we don't get anything new. Oh, that's not even the latest one. That would probably be the latest one, isn't it? Yeah. Let me just make sure there's nothing special on that one. Nope. Alright, so then we can pretty much select everything, because it won't have any impact. So let's just do that. <laughs> won't make any difference, we'll just select every operating system. Although it would probably take a while for them to actually do all that. Visual Tool is going to be Pied Piper. Because that's a great piece of software. Uh, yeah. Off you go. Start developing Soundwave 2. Nice, let's speed up time. I mean, I guess we could hire someone else for the marketing team. Did I ever hire a... Uh yeah, I did hire a receptionist, didn't I? I had a couple of them. Um, yeah, no, anyways, let's hire another uh, marketing employee, because that would probably be useful to have more than one. All right, let's go by age. Uh, no, let's go by skill, and then we'll have just have a look at the ages. No, you know what? We're just going to make him super young. I don't care. Interview. Uh, it's going to be with marketing. Normal. Uh, so marketing. Very bad. Very bad. Where is someone that is very good? No, okay, everyone is... Seems like I've got a bad person. That's normal. Oh, there you go. That's normal. That's nice green normal, and they're also decently skilled. So you're in. We'll hire two, uh, two people here. Um, is there someone that has a better normal? Isn't there like good or like great or something? People are just normal, you know. I want them, especially the marketing team. I feel like they should work together quite well. But maybe that is just me. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anyone? Nope. And... I already did you. Alright, uh, are you serious? I, be, I literally interviewed everyone from this person from Roberta all the way up. And then none of them are actually good. There's just no, a few normals in there. So I think we're gonna have to go with normal. Let's find the first normal. And let's go with them. Oh, that's a bad normal though. Is there a greener normal? Because I'd rather that. No. Uh, oh, that's a little bit more green. Alright, you're in. <laughs> That's how we operate here, apparently. All right, marketing, I want to go... So, Linda Schwartz, yeah, you're my lead anyway. That's good. Um, and I'm going to send you... I'm going to educate... I'm not, they're not even going to come into work yet. You're going to go away for two months, because that should probably max you out. And you're going to go educate for... Probably one month would be fine, I would say. Oh, there we... No, oh, yeah, one month is nothing, okay. And then, actually, Linda Schwartz, I kind of want to... Um, Educate you in HR management so I don't have to keep hiring people. But we'll do that later because we kind of need someone on the marketing team. Alright, anyway, so we got a couple new employees. They are away on education. I mean, that'd be pretty awesome. Like, if you got uh, if you got hired at a company and they immediately paid you for you to be educated. So you don't even have the qualifications for the job. Just like, hey, you're a nice person. You know what? We'll educate you just so you can work here for us. How about that? Oh, look, she's doing a fantastic job by herself. Absolutely hammering those away. Probably not going to get that done. Uh, but, no, definitely not going to get that done. But still, it's pretty good for one person. I'm, I'm okay with that. 
Uh, quality is great on Soundwave 2. Uh, we could probably stop Unix Corn very soon as well. That doesn't look like it needs much more advertising. Uh, so yeah, after today, Unix Corn, we're going to end that. Uh, develop that on outstanding quality. Um, oh yeah, did I put that on a server? Uh, core dev. No, I didn't. I like that you can actually assign it after the fact though. Oh, we got deals. Look at this. Um, so I guess what is, I don't even know what this actually does. So we get that amount of money if we want to develop that. Um, but I guess, so what's the difference between this and contract work then? Cause obviously, well, obviously you can support, but then I don't understand. Why would I, isn't that, I guess you only do development, but I'm not quite sure how's that differs from contract work. I don't know. But my receptionist is just standing there. So anyway, you stand there and do that. Uh, marketing is done. Nice to see. Uh, actually, let's have a look at our server. How's our server holding up? 13% load. I think we're fine. Uh, no worries there. Do you guys want to have a meeting? Because I got that little debt. I, I made that. I haven't seen them have a meeting yet. We got them that little desk and everything. Oh yeah, they, all the other people should be in. Oh, they don't actually have computers. <laughs> You're sitting there like, yeah, I'm doing stuff. I swear. Yeah, my bad. Um, all right, let me uh, go default style on that computer just so I can get you a matching one. Um, no, uh, there we go. And there. Okay, so now you, you two can actually work. There you go. Or not? Now, now you're. Well, okay, you decide to start working when the when everything's done. Fantastic. Uh, Alright, so then they'll promote this into beta very shortly. There we go. Let's get that on the marketing team. Marketing. Even though they'll, the bugs will probably be fixed before this is done being marketed. But Alright, well we're releasing that anyway. So. Okay, so that is Soundwave 2. Uh, assigned to the marketing team. There you go, guys. Uh, the core team. Uh, you can develop some software. Uh, so if we did want to do an operating system, for example, let's just see. If I wanted to select everything, I need a team size of 13. It'll take me about two years. So we really want to make sure we have enough money and we probably want another, we probably want a, a separate team to do this. So they need to be one third on 2D, one third on system, and then the other third on whatever the hell they want. So maybe we might even just, uh, we'll keep the, um, the core team here just doing other stuff. So let's go back to visual tool. Uh, let's, when did we do Pipe Pipe? February 82. Oh, we could probably do another one now. It's about more than a year later. Anyways, this is going to be Pied Piper 2. Uh, Visual Tool. going to be on Core Dev. And... Oh, is there a new operating system? Look at that. Sloss 2. So if we do that... Oh, we can do image editing now. So if... I presume if I select... A, like... The other one. Like the older one. I don't do editing. Oh no, that does have editing too. Unless editing has just come about for everything. Hey, let's see. Okay, well, apparently... I guess we must have just sort of got editing recently. Or did we have it before? I don't remember. No, okay, so you definitely can't do it on everything. <laughs> um, hang on, let's see. Remove that one. Let's remove some of the... I don't know which ones are older, though. I can't tell. All right, let's go... Oh, jeez. Okay, remove. So we've got image editing there. So where do... Hang on, where are we going down to? So we got Bot OS 2. we got... Uh, Lion Stop X2 and Lion Stop X. So we should be able to have Door Blinds OS as well, right? Yep. Okay. And what about Lion... No, we already got Lion Stop X. What about Sloth? No, okay. So we can't go back to Sloth. So we can do it on those ones and have image editing. Uh, so we need to have them qualified in 2D. I think, I think they mostly are. No dependencies. All right, start developing that. Uh... Well, okay, never mind. Everyone's going home for the day, so there's that. Oh my god, Soundwave 2 made us a lot of money. Okay, we have enough money to start a, uh, a little area for operating systems now, I think. Um, what I want to do... I'm trying to see. Probably want to just go upstairs. Uh, and build an operating uh, system office, as well as trying to think of. So, we wanted us to have 13 people. So, why don't we design around that? So, we have... Toilets there, elevators there. Um, let me just expand, first of all, expand the hallway to there, just so, I don't know. I feel like it should fill the gap or something. Um, Alright, well, let's go upstairs. So then this is going to be elevator shaft. Why don't we just turn that into a hallway? 
Uh, and then we'll turn this whole upper level into like a studio. This is going to be the, the whole level is going to be the operating system team, I've decided. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go get a bunch of bathrooms along here, I think. That's what we'll do. Um, like that. And then that will be maybe coming off of the hallway that's there. Why not? Um, <laughs> yes, that'll be fine. And then we'll have, maybe their lounge can be over here. Or maybe that can be the meeting room or something. I don't know, but that will be one room. And then this can be like the studio. There you go. All right. Now let's figure out how this actually will all work. Let's get some doors in the hangar. Let's get some windows. They can have nice large windows because they're on the on an upper level, so why not? Uh, there you go. I guess I'll. Oops, I put one on the inside by accident. Oh, did not mean to put one on the side there. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna match where I put windows already because I don't know. It seems it seems like there's some somewhat of a method to my madness. Um, all right, uh, bathrooms. I'm gonna go window there. And I put one on the inside as well, I think, did I? I don't know, it felt like I did. No, I didn't. All right, we're good. Uh, window there. We got windows at the end of the hole as well, why not? I want to copy that. Um, hmm. I kind of want it to be... Just, okay, well, software ink buildings are never gonna look good, so let's just, uh, well, at least at the moment. They're, they're adding in a whole new, um, I thought I had that open. They're adding in a whole new build system, actually. Well, he is adding in a whole new build system. Very soon. I don't know when precisely, but soon. So that'll be actually really cool when that happens. Don't know what that means for this. I might have to start over again if it requires a new save game, because it might do. But we shall find out. Okay, so then, if that's going to be the studio, I feel like there should be definitely be an office for... Um, for whoever's the team lead. Don't know how to do this, though, because... You can't, at the moment, do a room in a room. But you will be able to do that kind of stuff, and also you'll be able to do like that. Uh... Oh, we, I guess we can do the office here. So the team lead can have an office there. Um, a little door there. I have a door into the studio there, one there. We'll have a few around the place. There you go, like that. Um, and then, yeah, then the lounge will be over here. Now the lounge can have nice big windows all the way down. Looking good. All right, so then, oops, uh, bathrooms. We only have three, which should be okay because we're gonna have thirteen people. But we'll we'll go from there. Wait, let me just select all these rooms to start off with. Oh, I should probably make. Oh, I haven't even made it. I was gonna say assign them to the team, but don't have a team yet. Let me select all these rooms, and let's uh, do some colors because they need their own color. Uh. Why don't we do... let's go blue. Oh, that's the outside. Damn it, I always do the outside first. Go interior. A oh, beautiful blue. Ah, oh, nice calming blue. There you go. Looks great. Uh, <laughs> it looks great. Now, uh, let's go ahead and... Do I want one big office like this? I don't know how I want to do this, because... I, I have never played around with the... Doing separate, like, uh, doing a programming team. An only programming team, only designing team, and an only artist team. I don't tried that, but I don't think now's the time to try that. We can try, maybe try that later on. Um, but for now, well, we just got a giant office so they can have as much room as I want. So why don't we give them... They can each have a desk like that. <laughs> there you go. Nice big L-shaped desk. Like that. And then they sit in there. We have four people there. Um, and then we can have, uh, can we fit in, we can fit them in like that, <laughs> this is so, this is so stupid, um, I love it though, how many people does this actually fit in if I do one on each of these giant desks, uh, move that one, how many is that, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, no that's not right, that's 12 isn't it? Yeah, it's 12 in total there, and then we'll have the the uh, the leader, which would be 13, which is actually the exact number we need. Um, no, I need you to go on that desk. That, oh, no. No, 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 no. I have to click and drag it. Do I have to do that on all of them? Yep. 
Oh, there we go. Alright, so we got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> yep. It looks like a freaking call center. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look like a development studio at all. Oh, this is so dumb. Oh, well, we'll definitely change this at some point. That's blue computers. There you go. Uh, so it's default. There you are. Oh, okay. Didn't need to do two. Yeah, this is kind of, this is really, this seems really uncollaborative in terms of uh, a workspace. <laughs> oh, humanity. There we go. I think that's a little bit better. It has the exact same number of computers and chairs, uh, just in a slightly nicer layout. Uh, one that isn't so, so segregated and alone. So that'll be a little bit nicer for them, I think. Uh, now each little, uh, work station can have like a little espresso machine. I'll just put them in the same place for the sake of continuity. There you go. Uh, I won't give them fridges because I can go into the lounge with that. But um, let's give them some nice decorations. Uh, so in decoration, have a little one of those or one of these or one of that. A little one of them. Oop, one of them. Uh, a little plant in the corner. And one of that corner too. I mean, this room is massive. It's got plenty of room for expansion uh, when the time comes. Um... Environment 112%, so we're already looking pretty good. Let's get some of these up on the wall. There we are. There we are. That'll make them happy. Um, a little bit of that. We'll get some like sofas and stuff in here as well, I think. So we'll go with that one. And we're going to go with... We can't forget to leave room on the walls for vents, by the way. So don't, don't forget those. Uh, I know you were going to forget them. I wasn't. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's go to temperature. So let's go... I don't know how many we're going to need. Let's go one, two... Three, four. Let's see if that makes the room happy. Four is not enough because it's still a little bit angry, but we've got more room down this side. So we're fine. One, two, and one, and two. There you go. That should keep the room nice and cool slash hot, depending on the time. Um, and then we're going to go to sofas because right, I wanted to put one there. I thought that'd be a good little spot. Let's give that a different color. Um... I guess that's as white as that can go. I'm going to go set default on that. And we'll get one over here as well, I think. Just, I don't know, just nice little places to sit down. Uh, then we need to get... Uh, oh, lighting would help. How about some... Mm, I don't think we should have bookcases in here. Just because it... I've seen that... I think that's a little... You know, that's a little bit more loungy than, uh, than the office space. All right, let's go to lights. So let's go one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should probably be enough to keep it light. Uh, let's do it in the bathroom as well. One each. Uh, hallways. I, I, don't, I, don't, I never know. Especially when it's daytime, you can't really tell how many lights you actually need. Um, for the office, we'll get a couple in there. Two down there, two up there. Uh, I don't know. Let's get a bunch. There we go. That should keep everything nice and light. Let's toggle lights off because they also get quite annoying. Uh, let's get them some toilets. I said toilets. Once again, that is toilets. There we go. Uh, let's give them some temperature control as well. Uh, I'm trying to click on the little vent. There you go. And little one, of, one of those, one of those, one of those. Okay. So then the office, this will be whoever's in charge, whoever is the team lead of the operating systems. Uh, so we'll give them a little desk like that. I mean, it's not hugely different from everyone else's workspace. It's just going to be, you know, their own space. It's quite nice. That's what I, at least that's what I think. Yeah, a little, little light there and they can have um, a little table over there with a little espresso machine on it and they can have their own fridge. How about that? That'll make them happy. There you go. No, there you go. Really? Space is already occupied. Oh, is there a light there? I think that's probably what it is. Yep. Uh, we'll get rid of that because we have a lamp on the table as well, so that'll be fine. So, oops, that will go there. Um, then we also need temperature control for sure, which I guess can probably squeeze in there. There you go. That's looking like a pretty good office. Who wouldn't want to work in there? It's a little bit blue, but that's okay. Get a clock as well. Oh. That's good. All right, the uh, the lounge now is going to have uh, fridges for all. We'll do it down this end. It'll, this can be the little coffee break area, uh, even though they all have coffee machines in the actual office anyway. But you know, well, hey, they need something here as well. 
Uh, let's get one of those. Uh, just standard. I just presume getting the best one every time is the way you want to go, but I never actually know. I I'm just assuming that the the more expensive one is the best one, and it probably is. But uh, I don't know what the difference is in the coffee machines. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. A little bit of clocks. Oh, okay. Well, the clocks over there. That's fine, I guess. Uh, let's go to sofas. Uh, get one over there. One there. You know, just around the place. And I guess heating and cooling wouldn't go astray. A little bit of that. Should be enough for the room because there's no actual electronics in here. That will affect it too much. Uh, I don't actually know if they do anything with bookshelves. But let's, uh, let's get them in. Let's just put them there. Why not? A little separator of the room. That's nice. Can you change the color of those? Uh, you can't. Oh, wait, no, you can. Good. I wanted to make them, like, white. Uh, I'm gonna set that as default style, too. And, um, yeah, let's make that white. I don't know. That's like Ikea in there. Okay, so that's the lounge, that's the studio. Bathroom's got everything they need. Let's go back into the game. Um, so what we need to do is go manage teams, team name, uh, let's call it the OS, OS team. Uh, they will, you know, same time as everyone else. They can take a, they can take a holiday in July. Why not? Just so not every, the whole company doesn't disappear in the same month. Now we're going to make, uh, there's no elevators up here right now. I'm aware as well. We're going to make all of these rooms. Oops. Oh, hang on. Let me do this again. Is this like, it's really hard to tell if it's selected or not. I can only assume that it is. Um, oops, no, not the toilet. These, all of these. Um, switch team to OS. Room labels, yeah, so all those rooms are now the OS team, which no one exists on just yet. That's fine. Soundwave 2 is making us uh, millions of dollars, which is nice. So my electronics are being affected by the heat. Uh, let's figure out what those ones are. Temperature, so this floor is fine. That's fine. Ah, it's down in the basement. We're having problems. It's getting a little bit toasty down here, but this is... Oh, no, it's not. It says cold. That shouldn't... That's not heat, though. What's being affected by the heat, then? I'm not sure it's not up here. 21. 21. I don't know. Because down here is cold, but cold is fine, I presume, unless the, the error message is wrong. I don't know. Uh, anyways, we'll leave that. If it comes up again, we'll have a look into it. All right, so for let's just have a look again. Um, develop, because so, now we've got a bunch of money to actually do an operating system. Let's have a look at who we're going to need. So we're going to need, yeah, pretty much one-third 2D, one-third system, and one-third any speciality. And we need 13 people, but we'll go we'll go 12, so then we can have... Four in each, so four system people, four 2D people, and four on any. And then we'll have one team leader, which will, I don't know, they don't have to be particularly good. They just need to be good at leading. So let's go ahead and sort that out now. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to hire employees. So we're going to go, um, I guess we'll hire the lead first. Why not? So the lead is going to be as young as possible, because I do not care. Um, no, it's obviously going to be OS team. Um... It doesn't matter if they're compatible or not. I guess, no, actually, let's have a look at skill. I really want someone that's actually quite good at the job. Uh, generous and short-tempered. Hmm. I don't know if I want someone short-tempered leading my team. Short-tempered uh, short as well. You were quite young, so you seem promising. 34. Extrovert, optimistic. That seems like a good leader. All right, you're in. Erwin Lawrence, you're hired. Uh, now, before I forget, let's go OS. And you are going to be not educated. Um, I just want to change your role so that you're always leader instead of any job. All right. So then Owen Lawrence. Now, how do I do this thing where I select this? Oops. I don't want to select the room. I want to select the chair. Uh, assign the fur furniture to the f being used by employee. Assign the furniture being used by employee. Did I do that right? Currently owned by nobody. Well, how do I set it to be owned by you? Because I've selected you. Alright. Select those. Sign furniture to employee. There we go. Alright, so owned by Owen Lawrence. Owen Lawrence. Beautiful. You know, while we're at it, let's just select all the items in the room. Just so nobody else comes in here and uses them. 
for any reason. Okay, so that's, that should be all Owen Lawrence's stuff. Oh, look, it even highlights it blue. So that's essentially her office, and that's where she'll go to work. Cool. All right. Uh, I guess there's probably also an option, limit room usage, uh, leaders. Yeah, I could just just done that as well. So room labels, OS leaders, and that's also where she goes. Uh, that probably would have been easier than assigning furniture, but hey, we did both, so that's fine. Product has been reviewed. Uh, yep, small packages, taking new heights. Yeah, I know, I know it's good. I know it's good. Uh, all right, let me hire some more employees. All right, so I've hired the team for the operating system. We've got 13 employees that are ready to rock up and start programming or designing or doing art. Because uh, obviously we hired a range of employees. So let's go ahead and start developing our operating system. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's probably some suggestions. Uh, let's see. Any operating system suggestions? Not there. Um, let's see. I don't think, maybe there isn't. I guess because I told people not to. Because I didn't expect to get one million dollars in one night. So, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see, hang on. Operating... Like a tile left it. No, no one suggested anything, like, unless it's OS. The OS name. No, 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 no. Uh... No, um... No operating system name suggestions. Alright, well, uh, we'll have to tackle this one on our own. Profit OS, easy enough. Um, all right, on the core dev server, basically we want to select absolutely everything that we can. Uh, so it's going to take us two years approximately. Let's check it on to the OS team. Uh, no dependencies, all that kind of stuff. It's not going to be open source, and let's start developing that. Obviously, it's not going to start until tomorrow, but um, yeah. Anyways, we can stop marketing Grand Theft Flabs because it's not making any more money. Uh, hopefully Soundwave 2 does nicely tomorrow. Yep, accept all your little raises that you demand. And, uh, everybody should be coming into work. Uh, what we might do is, because, yeah, a lot of people are driving. Why don't we... I'm not sure if I want to expand the building out the back or not. I don't know, but what I, what I do want to do, let me just buy all that. Because I want to get some more parking. Um, right, vertical parking. Which way is vertical? That way, that's right, that's what I wanted. Okay. Let's get some through. Oh. 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 Do I have to buy that little bit? There you go. Uh, vertical parking. There you go. And then we're gonna go build road. Uh, cause we can always move this later. If, that's not a road. Alright. That's a road. Uh, yeah, no, we can always move that later if that's, um, if that's a problem anyways. Alright, let's get some doors on the back so people can come in this way as well. Uh. You know what I haven't done? Built elevators. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. There we are, there we are. Okay. I like how the game didn't actually say that n any of this was- Like, it didn't say it was inaccessible or anything, it just like, let me believe it'll be fine. Oh, that's what we should do. We should build a, a meeting table for them. I haven't seen the other guys downstairs use it yet, but we'll- I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that be enough for everyone? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that should be enough. Because then we get 12, and then we have someone at the top. So let's see if that's, um, that's enough, if they'll actually have a little meeting on it. Because that would be good to know if they wanted to do that. Look at them all in there, that's great! I love that, I love that little workspace. Oh, there you go. So they're having a meeting. These guys don't seem to want to have a meeting on that, that, that table at all. Guys upstairs don't seem to have a problem. I don't know why. Is it... Maybe because there's not enough seats? But there is, there's six of them. Um, is it because... It's not because it's too close to the wall, because they can get into those chairs. I don't know why. Maybe I'll just make it a little bit bigger. I don't know. Um... I don't know, that's weird. Why not make it bigger? Let's try that. Maybe they'll go to that then. Alright, well the guys upstairs uh, in the OS team seem to be able to have, uh... Team meetings quite easily. Uh, I guess we might as well. No, we won't start. Mar we'll start marketing this when it gets into um, the alpha phase. All right, so we'll start making it. We'll keep making some money. Wow, the uh, the drop off for Soundwave two profits is quite quite su substantial. Uh, buses are filling up. Consider building parking. Yeah, I got parking. It's okay. Uh, oops. Um, Call in sick. Yeah, vacation. Blah blah blah. Room is dirty. Do we need more uh, sort of cleaners than that? Maybe. Uh, manage staff, let's see. Yeah, we only have one cleaning team, so maybe we'll... Hang on, let me just... Like that. Get cleaning to come in. Then as well. Because... Oh, actually no, maybe we'll have them come in at the same time. Wait, what... Do, wait. When do people, um... 
When do people start? They start at 8 a.m. Maybe cleaning should come in an hour later then, because it only gets dirty when everybody walks through it. So maybe if they come in an hour afterwards, that should be a bit better. So we'll have two cleaning people coming around, because um, they're doing their job, but I don't think they're going to finish it before. No, it's still a little bit dirty here and there. So I don't think they really finished everything. Oh, whoops. Uh, almost forgot to do that. Uh, all right, so I guess tomorrow we will... Actually, no, we'll do a little bit of marketing now on this. We'll start it up. Uh, assign that to marketing, just so they can start getting the word out about Pied Piper 2. It's in production. Don't worry, guys. Operating system is coming along slowly but surely. Uh, so it's all dirty, but they seem to be cleaning it quite nicely. Yeah, it looks quite good now. They're standing in the corner doing nothing, which means everything is clean. Uh, how's our temperatures looking? Let's see, 21 degrees Celsius, 21... 21. Hallways 13. Hallways are a little bit cold because they're not heated. Uh, I don't think I heated the bathrooms either. Oh, maybe I did. Oh, I did. No, I'm nice. Good. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm nice. Alright, so this is almost ready to be promoted into beta. Alright, promote that. That might actually get released today and it totally will. There you go. Release. Uh, yeah, I will definitely market that, of course. Sign that to the marketing team. So now the core team is doing absolutely nothing again. So what should you guys be doing? Not uh, operating system, because that'd be stupid. So you just did a visual tool. I mean, we've already got Soundwave 2 out, so we've got to do another audio tool. I guess we can go ahead and do a game. Uh, actually, there are definitely game suggestions, but I've now closed the page that had the suggestions on it. So that's fantastic. Let me see if I can just load it up quickly. Uh, <laughs> the preparedness of me is... Uncontested. Okay, if YouTube could load any slower, that would be great. Uh, 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 okay, uh, okay. Just load the comments though. I don't care about the video, I want the comments. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Now, game engine. Uh, no, not game engine. I need. Um, no, I need game suggestion style. I need some game suggestion style. Game name, Fluffy Unicorn Simulator. Okay, well that was the first one I saw, so that's what I'm going to go with. Fluffy <laughs> Simulator. There you go. Fluffy Unicorn Simulator. Uh, original IP. Uh, yeah, it's not going to be a sequel to Grand Theft Labs. Um, and then we shall put it on Core Dev. Oh, we should probably give the operating system their own um, operating system team their own servers. We'll do that in a minute. They, they don't need it in the designing phase, so we don't need to worry about that too much. Um, all right, so if we just put it on slot two, let's see what, uh, see if we get any different options or anything. Game, oh, there's no game engines for slot two. Uh, we're gonna have to make a new game engine. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do a game engine then. Okay, game engine, delete that, hang on, this won't be an original IP. But Unix corn, uh, 2D maybe, and it'll be on slot two. And I guess door blinds OS, why not? 2D rendering, QA. Um, okay. All right, that should be good. Um, yeah, core team. All right, get on that. Actually, we should we should have just made that open source. Uh, that would have been good. Actually, I might yeah, I might cancel that. I might redo that because I wouldn't mind because then we get our reputation up a little bit. Our reputation isn't great, <laughs> so I think what we'll go we'll go open source Unix corn. Yeah, so Unix corn two. Uh, it's not going to be in-house. Uh, it's going to be on Sloth 2 and Door Blinds OS 2. 2D rendering QA. Core team. Yeah, so we won't make any money off this. And I don't really mind because uh, the game engines usually never make any money anyway. So, oh, F, my whole team is <laughs> just as I started the development is on vacation. And um, is my marketing on vacation as well? That guy isn't. I thought that maybe they didn't have. I thought marketing had vacation today, didn't they? Oh no, then. Oh yeah, no, yeah, they they do. I don't know why they're not all away then. I don't know. Whatever. Maybe one person hangs back. I'm over there. I should probably build an office for myself at some point too. Give myself like a penthouse office. How's upstairs going? You going good, guys? Yeah, you good. Um, having a little meeting. Blah 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 blah. In there is that um. Yeah, Erwin Lawrence, there he is. Doing his job. I like how he's also wearing a blue shirt. It's great. <laughs> he knows what's up. There, they're making profit OS. All right, accept on close. 3,700 a month, bonuses. Oh, raises, so whatever. 
Alright, downstairs, team is back. They're working away on uh, Unix Corn 2, which is good to see. Soundwave 2 still making a bit of money. Uh, I guess what we could do now... Um... I don't want to support anything. What's the point? I don't want to do deals. Uh, let's go... There's a few things we can do. First of all, let's go to stocks. Oh, wow, this is different. Um, I'm confused. What's going on here? What is that? Did I... Hang on. Nobody's interested in this stock. I'm confused what's happening right now. What am I doing? Did I just spend money? I did spend money. I don't know what I spent it on. Um, profits. Oh, did I just buy out my own company so I have a hundred percent? I'm. Good, I don't know. They changed this completely. I have no idea what did I just do. Nobody's interested in the stock. Change. What? I don't know. I don't know what I just did. Where? How do I get to? Um. How do I get like the stock market? Where you can buy like companies and that. I thought that wasn't here. Okay. Apparently they changed that. How do I see other companies and buy them out? Unless it's in... No, that's all software. No, no, go away. Uh, all companies? Do I have to do it this way now? Reputation. Who's got the most... Well, who's got the most worth? Oh, I do. So, that was easy. Stock. Okay, so you do it this way, then you just buy them out. I don't really get this, though. So if I buy that, so then, yeah, then I own a slice. Okay, and then obviously over time, the percentage... Change will differ, I guess. All right. Well, apparently I bought. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. They changed that. <laughs> I need to play around with that a little bit more. Uh, anyways, uh, all I all I've noticed is that I have much less money now. But I think I uh, essentially own my company. 100%. I'm a 100% shareholder of my own company. I believe is what I've done, which I'm okay with. And that's not a bad thing. Um, alright, Soundwave 2 is still making money, Profit OS is on the way, nice and slow, slow and steady, wins the OS race. Um, UnixCon 2 is coming along nicely as well, someone is not there, there's two people not there, a few people sick, probably, taking the day off, didn't say you could do that, that's okay, I guess. Uh, do they use my little meeting table yet? I don't think they do. Maybe it needs to be more in the middle of the room. I don't know. All right. Well, let's start developing that. Uh, let's have a look. Make sure that they still have load 0%. Oh, did I not put it on the server? Whoops. Uh, oh, it's over there. That's confusing. 30%. Um, that's fine. Uh, yeah. So we'll when uh, Profit OS starts getting developed, we'll actually give them a server. Uh, make sure that they can handle that. We can probably stop marketing that. Uh, why don't we market the open source... Operating system, not operating system, game engine. Okay, not today. I guess it'll be tomorrow. That's fine. Unix gone too. Let's get the word out. Uh, let's, yeah, we just want people to know that, hey, we're working on some open source software. Get excited for it. You can make your own games without having to pay. How good is that? It is great. That's how good it is. It's actually outstanding quality too. Look at that. So we finished marketing it and we finished creating it. So now we can release it. There we go. And now... Uh, we will also be able to make a game using that engine. Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, on the new operating system that we saw there. Sloth 2. Those, so we want those two. We want it to be on Unix Con 2. How, how come I could use that one now? Before I couldn't. Uh, I don't know. Well, whatever. <laughs> I still can't do just 2D though. Oh, no. Now I can. Okay. Now they've got the visual tool in. Uh, Soundwave 2. Outstanding, so I'm not going to use horrible products. Uh, 2D graphics, AI, QA. Um, this is going to be, you know, what was it? Something fluffy unicorn simulator, I believe is what it was called. This will not be open source. We will be selling this. Uh, core, it will be on the core dev server. All right, team size six. Perfect. That's the exact number of people we have. Um... Good. All right, let's go down to the basement because what I want to do is uh, get a few more tables in here. Uh, let's go set default style. Let's get uh, set up some the operating system team servers over here. Well, I'll have a whole line. I don't know how many they're actually going to need. I'm just going to do a bunch of them. Why not? Uh, not needs. What am I doing? Uh, server. Here we go. Like this. 
2600 each. I mean, we've got money to spend. And then apparently people said that you can now, and this is also was in the update while I was away, I believe, is you can now select them like this and go, uh, connect servers. Did that work? Yeah. Yeah, you couldn't do that before. It was, I remember like when I had giant rooms of servers, you had to do them one by one. That was so annoying. Uh, all right, so server zero is actually going to be renamed to OS dev. That's what that will be. Uh, we might actually also start up our own distribution um, system, online distribution. So let's go tables. Uh, server room is going to get very quickly sort of overwhelmed. Now, let's go servers. I think we're probably only going to need one or two to start off with, so we're not going to go overboard. We'll just connect up those. And we're going to go servers. Now, it's going to be online distro. Sure, we'll just call it that. Doesn't need to be a super long name. Right, uh, distribution channels. Uh, so we're going to make a store name. This is going to be profit. Oh, not double T. Not double F, double T. Profit. Um, Profit store. How about we call it the profit store? There you go. And that'll be on online distro. Open. Yep. Alright, so now the non physical stores, I want to stop going on these guys now. So I want to go uh, cancel deal with you. I don't want to be on any other online store except for my own. And I will have physical store deals on all physical stores. Alright, so on the profit store, our cut is apparently 1%, which I feel is... Hang on, let's have a look. Yeah, it's really super low, but we're gonna... I think we'll go about 5%. We'll take a 5% cut. That sort of puts us... That, that kind of puts us in the middle. Uh, no, it doesn't put us quite up high. Alright, let's go down to 4% maybe. Where does that put us? Yeah, now, now we're sitting quite in the middle. That's, that's good. That's good. Um, so we got that going. So... That'll start running away. Well, not running away, you know what I mean. Running. Uh, servers, let's have a look. Load, 50%. Uh, we may, may need to get a few more servers if we're already on 50%. But we'll see. <laughs> we shall see. Uh, actually, how's the, uh, how are we going with the temperature in this room, actually? 14 degrees. Little bit warm. No, I'm kidding. 14 degrees is fine. Okay. Uh, so yeah, they're making Fluffy Unicorn Simulator. They're working on Profit OS upstairs. It's good to see you guys. That's what I like to see. So not too long until we can finally uh, push that along. So oh, look at our reputation after releasing the open source game engine. <laughs> our reputation has gone through the roof. That's what I like to see. Look at all these deals now. Design and development and support and marketing. Oh, we could do a marketing deal. Um, why not? That'd be interesting. So I take on like a deal and then at the end of that, am I done? Do I just end it? I don't understand. End? All right. I have no idea what, because <laughs> I got $5,000 for that. I don't know. All right. Uh, Profit OS looks like it's going to be ready to promote tomorrow and same with Fluffy Unicorn Simulator. So that's going to be a nice little progression there. Um. That's actually coming along quite nicely, the operating system. I would like it to be outstanding though, uh, much like that game. Uh, let's see, outstanding, it can definitely be better. There we go, develop. Good, all right, so Profit OS is gonna be on the OS dev. And let me make sure that's actually on core dev as well. All right, let's have a look. So OS dev, 80%, so yeah, that's fine. Uh, they'll be able to work nicely on that. And my online distro is not too, too under too much load either, which is good. Fall back. Oh, so you can give it like a backup server. How do you do that? That's interesting. I don't know. I guess I need to have another empty server maybe. I don't know. That's interesting though. Alright, so Fluffy Unicorn Simulator. Oh, is my OS team. Yeah, my OS team's on holiday today. That's why they're not in. I was like, where are they all? <laughs> uh, promote. Uh, doing a little bit of bug fixing. I'll be interested to see how this game goes. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course we want to market it. There we go. Sign that to marketing. Fluffy Unicorn Simulator. It is an outstanding game on a beautiful open source game engine on the latest operating system. So it'll be interesting to see if it actually does well or not. Probably not is going to be my guess. Uh, let's go for 
Well, we still got Pied Piper out there, so maybe not do another visual tool. Let's go audio tool again. Audio tool. Uh, on the core dev. It's not going to be an original IP. We're just going to go sound wave. Uh, sound wave 3. Oh, look, it even... I just had to click it and it figured it out. Uh, now, maybe we'll just go... If we just go in the latest OS. No, we still don't have audio editing. Unless... Pied Piper. No, Pied Piper 2 is not what we want. Uh, no, still, still no audio editing, even on the latest operating system, so that doesn't really change anything. So we might as well just add it on as many as we can then. Or at least, uh, how about we just, how about we stick with the 80s? Oh, but that's got like 19% share. Alright, I'll go door blinds OS as well. Um, and we'll skip bot OS too. Yeah, screw bot OS. Yeah. Alright, uh, QA, uh, Soundwave 3. I wonder if this will do as well as Soundwave 2, because that's really what gave us our millions. Alright, uh, go! Cool, alright, so they're away. Uh, the operating system team should be back in August. Here they are, way to develop on Profit OS. Fluffy Unicorn Simulator didn't do particularly well, but did it at least make us money, is my question. Uh, your releases, release date, Fluffy Unicorn, no, it lost us money. This is quite a lot of money. Pi Piper 2 did extremely well, as did Soundwave 2. Uh, Unix gone, obviously, because that was open source, that was never going to make money. Oop, develop that. There we go. Soundwave 3 is in the works. So Soundwave 2 was 83, June 83, so it, it's over a year. Um, be about a year and a half, probably, by the time this gets out. So at least it's not too soon. Unix gone 2, Pi Piper still making a bit of money. Uh, Alright, so Fluffy Unicorn Simulator did make us money in the end, which is nice. It, it's done already better than Grand Theft Flabs. <laughs> so that's, that's all good. Oh, promote that. Uh, fixing debugs and release Soundwave 3. There you go. Sign to your marketing. So that's now lost us 61,000 until we find out tomorrow if it's done anything. Um. Yeah, no, that's coming along well. I think I'm going to leave this part here, guys, just because otherwise, we, we, you know, we're just kind of going along. We're just trudging along. Soundwave 3, $1 million. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time, and have an awesome day.